Uh, we're uh, delighted to be here with our very strong ministerial team. By dint of the huge support that we received in the Assembly elections, with the electorate returning us in very powerful numbers, 28 members. And as a result of that, uh, we have uh, obviously over the course of the last two weeks been dealing with the issue of uh, working with our colleagues uh, within the institutions, mainly the Democratic Unionist Party, to agree uh, a programme for government and to be in a position to put a, an executive in place by tomorrow with a view to that executive meeting on Thursday. Obviously, in coming into these institutions, on, on foot of the mandate that we receive, we're very conscious of our responsibilities to use that mandate to ensure that we continue to drive forward with a very positive and constructive agenda, which is about providing jobs and opportunities for our people. It's about protecting and enhancing frontline public services. It, it is about progressing our agenda for Irish unity, and it is about ensuring that we continue to move forward to deliver on all fronts for the people who sent us to this institution. So we're very conscious that we do that against the backdrop of uh, an austerity agenda which is still in place, uh, being conducted by uh, a Conservative government in London. Uh, that said, we are charged for the next five years by the electorate to move forward to ensure that we continue to deliver uh, important services for them. Uh, and I'm delighted to, to announce today the names of our uh, ministerial team. The departments that they will take charge of will become clear tomorrow uh, when we run the hunt in the Assembly. Uh, we're very privileged to have five members uh, in the executive. Uh, people have been well aware for the last couple of weeks that I am one of them. But the other members uh, who will join me in that executive and who will be nominated by me tomorrow are Michelle O'Neill, uh, Martine O'Muller, uh, Megan Ferrin, and Chris Hazard. And I want to congratulate uh, all four of them on uh, their uh, appointment as ministers in the new executive. Uh, I've already met with them in the course of today. Uh, they are very intelligent articulate, committed, dedicated Irish Republicans. They understand the onerous challenges that lie ahead of us as we face into the next five years. And they're all very determined to play their part in ensuring that we continue to deliver for the people who represent us. I also want to pay tribute to all of our other colleagues here with us today, all of whom will play a very, very important role in the next five years. They are a tremendous team, and I am very privileged and very proud and very honoured to, to be one of them. So uh, that's our agenda for today. Uh, obviously, uh, we stated uh, some days ago that uh, Arlene Foster and I were agreed that we would uh, be in a position to put uh, an executive together, uh, which would meet on Thursday. And the, the hunt will run tomorrow. The executive will be put in place and uh, I think that is good news for the people out there who uh, want to see us getting on with the work of delivering for them.